Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here and today I'm coming at you with a realization that I made about myself not too many days ago, like a week ago I think, and that I am finally ready to share and I'm going to be talking about it while smoking one of my Chesterfield originals. If you're asking why do they look so ugly, it's because I've been leaving my cigarettes in my car for a reason that I will explain later, but it stormed a lot and some water entered my car and it did this to my cigarettes and will I buy a new pack? Not before I finish this one, so I'm gonna be smoking ugly ass cigarettes until I get a new pack, so yeah. You know what, let's just light this up and talk about the topic of this video, which is what's important. Let's go. Let me just get my car ashtray set up and maybe open my door a little bit. It's a little bit hot inside my car. Let's go. So, I have not use the term addicted to describe my feelings towards cigarettes. Up until this point, I have always been like, sometimes I want a cigarette and I go smoke it, but I'm not addicted, you know? It's like, I just want a cigarette and I can like control it. And it's true, I can control it, but I've been saying, you know, I can control it, which I still feel is true. And just, I go to one, one time a day or like every two days, I go to record the video and I smoke a cigarette or sometimes I'm alone at home and I smoke a cigarette. Sometimes I go have a walk alone for a walk alone. I need to get my English straight, all right? But sometimes I go for a walk and I smoke a cigarette. Um, and I've been on this one cigarette a day to one cigarette every two days type of jam for a year and a half. And up until this point, I've never understood what being addicted to cigarettes was like because my symptoms are not like what I've read on the internet or what I've seen people talk about, even on YouTube videos. Some people say they feel irritable, 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 that word, you know, when they are like anxious and like mad at the same time, you know? Some people say they get headaches, some people say they get very anxious, and I've never felt like that when I thought of, oh my God, I need to go smoke a cigarette because I'm feeling this feeling, so I want to go smoke, you know? So I've never called it addiction because I've never felt those symptoms related to cigarettes, you know? But something made me realize that I am in fact addicted to cigarettes and not because they make me feel anxious when I don't smoke or because I have this irritability. It's because the thought of I want to smoke a cigarette has been popping way more times in my mind now and I have not been upping my cigarette consumption and by that I mean I've not been smoking more than one cigarette a day. I've been smoking one cigarette a day pretty consistently like I've not have I've not had many day breaks like I used to. I used to have like I smoked in one day and then I didn't smoke for three days or I didn't smoke for two days or I didn't smoke for one day, you know? I used to have a lot of breaks and now I'm not having as many breaks because every day I'm like, I wanna go smoke my one cigarette of the day and that's what I go do. So I've been smoking one cigarette every day, like pretty consistently. I've had some breaks, but it's not every two days, every one day I get a break. How do I explain this? What I was trying to explain is I still have breaks, so for example, in a week of seven days, I will smoke like five days of the week and I will have like one day break here and there, you know? But before it used to be, I smoke one day, I don't smoke for one or two or three days after that, you know? And that has not been happening as much. And it's because I've just been telling myself, you know, it's one cigarette a day, you just go and smoke it, you know, whatever, just go. It's one a day, you are not doing like a pack a day, half a pack a day, 10 cigarettes a day, you are just smoking one cigarette per day. So I'm allowing myself to do that. But also after I smoked that one cigarette in one day, I've, be, I've still been having that thought of, oh my God, I've already smoked today, but I want to smoke again. And what made me realize I am addicted to cigarettes is the fact that, wait, let me close this for a little bit, is the fact that I used to have my pack in my bag at home, you know? And now I leave my pack in my car so that I am not tempted to smoke more cigarettes than one cigarette a day. And once I realized I had to do that, I was like, I am addicted because if I have the pack at home, it's gonna be so much harder for me to not smoke another cigarette, you know? And that is what made me realize, you know what, Connie? It got us, it got up to us, it caught up to us. We are addicted, it is what it is. But saying that, I'm not saying that I'm gonna start smoking more than I already smoke. I'm just saying that it, wait, oh my God. My cigarette just fell, in case you didn't realize. Um, it was kind of scary, yeah, you almost burnt myself, but I didn't. But 
anyway, I will not be smoking more than I usually smoke. The only thing that's happening is I still have that thought in my mind of, oh my, oh my God, I would like to smoke another cigarette, but I'm still gonna be like, no, cause it's like, it's easy to control. Like it's a craving that for me at this point is easy to control. Like it's easy for me to tell myself, you've already smoked today, chill out. You don't need to smoke more. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow you smoke another cigarette, you know? And I'm happy with that, you know? I'm happy with being able to control it and not just be like, whatever, I'm gonna go down to my car and I'm gonna smoke another cigarette because that's what's, that's not happening still. I mean, it's probably gonna happen, you know, eventually, like it is what it is with addiction, but I'm, going tr I'm gonna try to delay that as much as possible by keeping cigarettes away from me. So if it's in my car, then I'm not tempted to come down the whole building and come to my car to just smoke. I'm gonna just distract myself, you know what? I want to smoke? No, I'm going to play some video game. I'm going to edit a video. I'm going to edit, I'm going to plan something for YouTube, you know? So that that is going to be my strategy. But I just wanted to share with y'all that I finally think I should call this addiction because it is what it is. And I'm not going to be lying to y'all, be like, I am not addicted to cigarettes. Like, bitch, shut up, you know? I don't know, it's not like a, I don't know how to explain it. You probably, if you are a smoker, if you are not a smoker, don't smoke, all right? But if you are a smoker, you probably understand what it's like, the very early stages of addiction where you want another cigarette, but you can control it pretty well. You are like, it's not a big craving. It's not like your body physically wanting a cigarette. It's like, my brain is telling me, Connie, please, can we smoke another cigarette? And I'm telling it no. And that is pretty easy to me at this point. So yeah, but the, the day I was like, man, I'm gonna put my cigarettes in my car. And I came down the building, with my pack, like I came, where is my pack even? I don't know. I came down the building with my pack running to my car, being like, I'm gonna leave you with my car because if I don't, I will smoke you. And I just left it in my car, you know? That was the day that I was like, wow, I am addicted, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I've been having a lot of um, cravings, especially if I didn't smoke my cigarette that day, every, sing every, every little thing that happens to me, like, I don't know, I was editing a video and a specific font that I wanted for a title, I can find it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so mad, I wanna go smoke a cigarette. But if I have already smoked a cigarette that day, I don't think as much about it, but it still pops in my mind like, let's go smoke another one, especially if it's like sunset or sunrise. Like someone commented on one of my videos and it was very funny. Someone said, you Pavloved yourself with sunsets and sunrises and cigarettes. And it's true because Every time a sunset or a sunrise or orange toned color appears in the sky, I'm like, time to smoke a cigarette, you know, but I'm resisting it. And that is also because I like testing my limits. So I like feeling a little bit of pain to see what my limit is. So if I'm having, if I, for example, some days I don't smoke, right? It's not that I don't want to smoke on those days, it's that I want to smoke and I'm testing my patience and my limits of my anxiety. And I'm just like, I really want to go smoke. And I'm telling myself, no, you are not going to smoke. I want to see how you are going to feel if I don't let you smoke today. And this is all me talking to myself, all right? There's no, no other person in this equation, it's just me. I have a lot of conversations with myself, you know? But, re but yeah, it's been like that. For example, yesterday, I didn't smoke. I did want to smoke, you know, I wanted to, but I was like, no, you know, I'm gonna have to go downstairs, just take a chill pill, you know, distract yourself with something and just get over it, you know? Cause I was trying to see, am I capable of not smoking even if I want to smoke? And I was, so I would like it to keep at this point. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to, I would like to say it's going to be another year and a half because it took me a year and a half to kind of start feeling cravings. Before I used to like smoke just because I wanted to, I don't know, feel the buzz. Not because I had my body telling me, please let's go smoke a cigarette. It's because I remembered the feeling of the buzz and I wanted to feel it again, you know? That's why I've been smoking for the past one and a half years. But now it's more like I want to feel the buzz and also my brain is telling me I want to smoke a cigarette. So I go, you know, it's that kind of thing. So yeah. It has been like that. I have been easily able to control it, I would say. I mean, I've still been smoking like one cigarette a day, but as long as I can keep it at that, it's pretty good. And yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I wanted to keep you updated with my current status of what I've been feeling, I guess. So yeah. Now we've come to the part of the video where I do tricks because I like doing tricks and no one can stop me, you know?
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to, I don't know, give a little update, chitty chat about what's happening. And yeah, I'm gonna still keep you updated. I'm gonna tell you like in a specific video that I'm gonna do like one of these days, like what exactly it makes me feel or like what I feel when I want to go smoke, something like that, you know? But yeah, that is it. Oh my God, I just turned my blinkers. Blinkers, blink lighting, lighters in my car that blink. I don't know. That was it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't roast me in the comments being like, oh my God, Connie, I always knew you would get addicted. We all know, man, it's cigarettes. It's addictive. It's nicotine. It's an addictive substance. It happens. But yeah, it is what it is. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.